you're watching the YCN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Today, YCN travels to North Sutton, New Hampshire, as the Cardinals of Stevens visit the Cougars of Kearsarge in a big Division III boys showdown. The Game of the Week is brought to you by HR Clough and Kearsarge Heating, the home energy specialists. LaValle Building Supplies for home improvement and construction from concept to completion. Echo Communications, a digitally integrated commercial printer and mailer located in New London, New Hampshire. Vermonto's Brick Oven Pizza in Claremont, always fresh. Good evening, I'm Jeremy Stout, joined by Andrew Zerhide, and tonight we have a matchup between Division Three heavyweights, the Stevens Cardinals, and the Kearsarge Cougars. Andrew, both teams coming in at 12 and two. This is a rematch from an earlier game of the week on YCN. Who should we watch for out there for the Stevens Cardinals tonight? Yeah, so for Stevens, we're gonna be keeping an eye on Noah Spaulding. He was really, really big in that game earlier against Kearsarge. Uh, he's going to be running the point, and uh, we have Zach O'Brien, also the uh, junior, number 14. He's going to be a force in the paint tonight, getting a lot of rebounds, making a lot of nice post moves. So Spalding and Zach O'Brien will be the two guys we'll be keeping an eye on for Stevens. And the Cougars have only lost two games this season. One of them was to Stevens, as we mentioned, in the early going of the season. They've now won 11 straight. This Cougars team is ready to roll. Who should we look for tonight for the Cougars? Yeah, so uh, for, for last year as well, but this year especially, number five, Taylor Matos, one of the better players in Division Three, six seven center. He's really going to be the uh, you know the go-to guy for the Cougars here tonight in the paint. A lot of rebounds. And uh, Tom Johnson, number 23, one of the better shooters in Division Three. Look for him to be a force on the perimeter, hitting a lot of threes tonight. All right, we have a sensational Division Three matchup. The Cougars and the Cardinals tip off after this. And now, let's send it down to the public address announcer for tonight's starting lineups. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to the Red Ground Court in the College of Illinois Gymnasium on the campus of Pierce High School. Tonight's game features the Cardinals of Stevens High School and your Cougars of Pierce High Regional High School. Introducing tonight's starting lap for the Cardinals, coached by Matthew Bear Torney. At guard, six foot two, a senior, number two, Parker Smith. At forward, six foot, a senior, number four, Zach O'Brien. At guard, five foot ten, a senior, number five, Richard Bell. At guard, five foot seven, a junior, number eleven, Noah Spalding. At forward, six foot, a senior, 33, Nick O'Brien. Starting lineups, we are set to go here from North Sutton, New Hampshire. Here's Sarge Cougars hosting the Stevens Cardinals, and we are in, as we mentioned in the pregame, in for a good one, Andrew. 12 and 2, both these teams coming into it. Respective winning streak, Stevens, eight in a row. Here's Sarge, 11 in a row. And a bucket early for the senior, number 22, Ray Crick. Senior. Honored here before the game tonight. And he gets the first bucket, and we're underway. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how Stevens plays against Matos. The drive in there. 
rejected, Zachary O'Brien. Last time these two teams matched up, they let Matos do what he does, and he scored almost 30 points. But Stevens came out with the win. And there's Critch with the offensive board. Pass tipped away, it'll stay Cougar basketball. Yeah, and the first game that we did on YCN Game of the Week was the first game of the season for both these teams. And uh, Stevens jumping out to the early lead. Stevens mostly controlled the game. Mm -hmm. Kearsarge kind of got back into it a little bit, but never really took the lead as we see down low. And we'll see a lot of that. Taylor Matos, number five. And he uses his height to his advantage. And he's on the board, gives Cougars the 4 nothing lead. Yeah, one thing that's tough about Matos, a lot of teams try to foul him, limit his points, but he's a very good free throw shooter. That doesn't work very well either. One of the hardest players to contain. And on the drive into the paint there, Nicholas O'Brien, the junior. They'll say he was not shooting. Wasn't sure if they were going to give him the continuation. It'll be a Cardinal basketball inbound underneath their own hoop. Stay tuned for our Game of the Week halftime show brought to you by Echo Communications, a digitally integrated commercial printer and mailer located in London, New Hampshire. Cardinals looking to get on the board. Nice cut there and pass inside. Zachary O'Brien not able to get to it, but the offensive rebound, the Cardinals will set it back up. Kick out to the corner. The pass a little hot from Richard Bell, number five. Both these teams uh, coming into this game with a limited number of seniors. As we mentioned, Ray Critch, the only senior for the Cougars, and the Cardinals with only two seniors, Anthony Stiffen and Ryan Napsey. So both these teams at the top of Division Three, and probably will be for the next year as well. Inside pass, nice maneuver there. Number 20, Kyle Hernan. The sophomore, and he gets it to go, extending that Kearsarge lead 6-0. Stevens yet to have an answer for this Cougar offense. Yeah, much different start to this game than the last time these two teams matched up. And there's Parker Smith, the junior, taking it to the hole. You've heard his name before. He's a star not only on the basketball court, but on the football field as yep. Cardinals winning there. First state football state championship in over 40 years, honored before the game. Nice gesture by the Kearsarge crowd. And gets it to go. So eight two now, the Cougars leading by six, five and a half to go in the first quarter. Kick out to Bell. He can't get it to fall, it'll stay Stevens basketball, 5.22 to go. We'll take a break. You're watching the YCN Game of the Week. Welcome back. YCN Game of the Week. Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zerhide. Here's Arch Cougars leading the Stevens Cardinals, 8-2. Nice pump fake there to get his man off. Doesn't get it to go, but gets the offensive rebound. And Zachary O'Brien cuts into this lead. Cougars lead now 8-4. Job by Zach there. He's a very physical player. Not afraid of contact. He's definitely quicker on his feet than the 6'7 Matos. Nice there's, job there. Yeah, there's Matos going up and under, but nice defensive effort. And that's what you have to do if you're Stevens. You just gotta get your get your ground yep. and go straight up. You can't foul him. As you mentioned, he's a good free throw shooter. Ball bouncing around and tip back. Offensive rebound to Spalding. O'Brien, excuse me, Richard Bell. And stolen away, falling out of bounds was Joe Storzuk. Threw it back to the Cardinal defender. Nice take there, that one's number 33, Nicholas O'Brien. And eight to six now. And a two-point lead as we approach four minutes to play here in the first quarter. Stay tuned at the end of our telecast for the HR Clough Kearsarge Heating turning up the heat player of the game. And we'll pick the top performer in tonight's matchup. Inside to Matos, and it looks like Richard Bell got a hand on it. And they'll call number five, Richard Bell, for the foul, but it'll be on the floor. So Kearsarge basketball, they'll inbound underneath their own hoop. Sub coming in now, first time. See Jordan Brick. The 
junior forward, 6-1. As we mentioned last time, a lot of height on this Kearsarge Cougar team. Nice play on the inbounds, and that's Tom Johnson, the captain. He won't get it to fall, but he'll go to the line and shoot a pair. Our replays are brought to you by Ramonto's Brick Oven Pizza in Claremont. Always fresh. There's Tom Johnson at the line, shooting a pair. First one up and good, extending that lead now. Cougars lead 9-6. They were out of the gate early with a quick lead and yet to relinquish that. Johnson looking for his second. And he gets it to go. So he's perfect from the line in the early going, two for two. Broussard leading 10-6, 345 to play in the first quarter. Stevens, by a maneuver through that zone and they get it over to the corner and a nice offensive rebound. That one is Zachary O'Brien. Puts it back in and nice job by O'Brien. Staying with a shot, going back up strong. Matos, the 15-footer. Doesn't get it to fall, rebound out to Spalding, and he'll run, but realizes he doesn't have numbers, pulls it out. Here's Sarge with a 10-8 lead. Stevens looking to tie it up for the first time, or maybe take the lead with a three. Yeah, the O'Brien brothers really have a lot of nice moves to create separation. Hard for big 6-7 Matos to get back into defense. Nice job there by Zachary O'Brien. Elbow jumper on the assist from Parker Smith. Parker Smith gets the screen, a nice pick and roll, and three from Johnson on the other end, no good. Tipped around, it'll be Rick with the rebound, and then it'll go back to the Cardinals. So now 10-10 hour score, 2.30 to go, and Cardinals looking for the first lead of the game, and they get it. A three-pointer launched there by Nicholas O'Brien, and he gets it to go. The Cardinals lead 13-10, to 2.18 to go. Timeout on the floor. We'll take one as well. You're watching the YCN Game of the Week. Welcome back, YCN Game of the Week. Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zerhide, 2.15 to play in the first quarter from North Sutton, New Hampshire, where the Cardinals lead the Cougars 13 to 10. Tied to Matos, nice move, and doesn't get it to go. Nice defense there, and that's what we're talking about. Zachary O'Brien, the straight up defense. Just got to get position, and you saw him, Andrew, he just puts his hand straight up, and that's all you can really do, because if you start moving around, you know Matos will draw that foul. Right, yeah, exactly. And you know, in that game earlier this season, the O'Brien brothers did a nice job of doing their best to contain him, even though he scored almost about, I think, 30 points. But they got the win. They know what they're doing. If he's the only one scoring, I think they can get it done. Nice ball rotation there by the Cardinals, and the open three to Richard Bell. Beautiful pass from one corner to the other, and then swings it one more time. Always looking for the open man, one extra pass. 16-10 lead now for the Cardinals. We have the Cougars a little bit on their heels. Three-point attempt is short, tipped in, excuse me, stuck at the, in between the rim. Lodged there and tipped away, so it'll be Cardinal basketball. Yeah, we saw there when Matos got the ball down low, they sent in the triple team. Kicked it back out to Sterozic. Missed the three, but that's what you got to do if you're Kearsarge, kick it out to your three-point shooters. There's Parker Smith driving strong to the rim, no good. Matos with the rebound, and here come the Cougars on the fast break. Johnson will pull it back out, and he'll swing it around the perimeter, set their offense back up. Inside to Matos, and he gets one off the glass there. Nicely done, Taylor Matos, 16-12. Cardinals with the four-point lead, 40 seconds to play in this first quarter. Three-pointer fired away, no good, and the rebound is going to go to Kearsarge. We'll have a loose ball foul on Zachary O'Brien. 
36 seconds to go. Here's our trails by four after opening up the early lead. Stay tuned for the Game of the Week halftime show brought to you by Echo Communications, a digitally integrated commercial printer and mailer located in New London, New Hampshire. Noah Tremblay in the game over to Johnson. 20 seconds to go. Johnson surveying, gets it to Brick, and then they find Matos. Nice rotation here by the Cougars, really passing the ball around nicely. And the take in the basket is Noah Tremblay, the sophomore guard. Gets the bucket and the foul. And Tremblay at the line to shoot one, try and complete the three-point play, cut the deficit back to one. Nice job by the Cougars passing the ball around. Good quality scoring opportunity. Nice job by Tremblay with the cut. Can't get the free throw. Rebounded by the Cardinals, but it was snocked away from Zachary O'Brien. The three-pointer by Johnson just before the buzzer. He does get it off, but it's no good. An exciting first quarter here from Northside, New Hampshire, where the Cardinals lead the Cougars 16-14. We'll take a break. You're watching the YCN Game of the Week.